Hey, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave. Uh, recently on the channel, I obtained this magnificent piece of obtainium, this medical cart. It's a lovely augmentation to my storage process here at the cave. I put wire in it, which allowed me to get rid of a whole wire rack there and put some of my airplane food containers up there. There's still three, five, five of them are unfilled. Oh, unfilled drawers, that's exciting. And to remind you, do you know what, when you build something with extra space, like I did with my hammer rack here, do you know what they call that at the Jet Propulsion Labs at JPL in Pasadena? They call it baby fat because eventually you grow out of it. Anyway, we put this cart in and because I also moved stock into there where it formerly was in a couple of shelves right here, um, I was able to lower the toolboxes. So even though that was a higher surface than what the toolboxes sat on before, it's lower, which means it's more accessible, it's awesome. And I'm looking at that where I keep the paint brushes right there. And I'm realizing that there's some unutilized space here that I could potentially fit a small cabinet right here. And I'm all about maximizing the space with small cabinets. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. I'm gonna, or it's, it's almost noon. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make a little small cabinet that goes right there. Not gonna be too big. It's gonna be Goldilocks. Not too big, not too small, just right. Oh, and I'm gonna put lights in it because yeah, we gotta have that. Totally gotta have that. All right, so our width here, eight and a half. And our depth, we're going to go right Looking great! I want some configurable shelves that I can put in multiple places, and I want lighting that I don't have to worry about removing those configurable shelves. So that's actually gonna be one of the innovations here. Really straightforward. Couple of pieces top and bottom, couple of pieces on the back. I'll uh, I'll make a channel in the back like a drawer for the, uh, for the back piece, which would be quarter inch. All this will be half inch. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use the table saw to make a little cutout here in the side of the plywood. I'm gonna put the light strip backed up into there facing that way so you can't see it directly, but it still lights the whole thing. Yeah, we'll see if that works. So what I want is like a small channel way up front here. It's like this and like that. I want to pull out that. Will I be able to do that? We will see. That was successful. Here is the notch I got. Uh, still some dimensional stability out of the plywood and you'll see that the light will go here and spill that way. I hope. We'll see. I'm lighting it from both sides. So that should help. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some runners here to be able to, uh... yeah, you see that. I want to make some adjustable runners for the shelving.
All right, so what I did was I have nine shelf dividers on each side. Uh, so all I did for the formula of how, what the distance between them is, is I took the overall length, 22 inches, removed the length of the combined set of drawer pieces, which is three and five sixteenths. Um, yep, three and five sixteenths, and then divided the remainder by 10, which is how many empty spaces I'll have, and I got 1.87. So I, I cut a piece to 1.87, and I'm basically just gonna use this. I'm gonna line these up so that they are across each other like this, and then I'm just going to lay this down and staple in and move it up and staple in, and I may end up with a slightly introduced error at the end, like that shelf is a little shorter, don't care. This uh, gets me gets me where I want to go, where I want to go to. Good. That was the hardest one. I'll explain in a minute. Two for the price of one. Okay, so uh, so what I did was I included some package writing. Anyway, hi. As I was saying, did I actually keep recording? I did. So here's where we're at. I'm going to now wire up a pair of LED strips. Oh, look at that to sit on the inside here. And then I've cut this channel here and this channel here going back so I can route the wiring without having to see it. Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening next is I'm gonna actually make up the circuit. Red, off white. That's great, nice tight packing. 22 gauge ought to do it. And they connect up to the power supply. That might be the 
the sum total of the soldering I have to do. So, I feel like you should see this from a better angle. That's great. I can't see that. So I'm going to route this hookup wire to there, and I'm going to route it that way. <laughs> come, come, come. I see. I see your issue. Awesome. And same here. Excellent. Good. Okay. Let's see if we get light. Hey, I didn't say it. That's one. Okay. All oh, right, let's try the other. That's the other. Marvelous. Okay, so now I think I can. back piece, which will be eight by 22 and seven eighths. connect this up and see if it actually still functions. Hey, I love it. Excellent. Let's, uh,
There they go. The solder flows. Look at that, you can't even see any wires. All right, let's try it. Let's just try plugging it in one more time. Doink. Hey, hey. Okay, so now my shelves, and now my shelves need to be, uh, let's see here. It's seven and a sixteenth by Well, I suppose we could go all the way to nine and five eighths. Seven and a sixteenth. Seven sixteenth by nine and Great. Lovely. Very happy. Marvelous. Oh, I'm not going to put the shells in until it's in place. Yeah, let's do it. Come closer, will you? Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. First up, I think we can put our transfer punches down here. Like that. That's nice and heavy. Put that in. Look at that. Then we can put a secondary set right there, that goes like that. And I feel like Loctite could all be here. That's nice. Yeah, Loctite is good. Where's the... Ah, this stuff, the black stuff. Okay, and then, these don't have to live anywhere near here. Frankly, they can go here with their extra. Uh, right hammer gauge could be here. <clears throat> Put the other two pieces in here, here for when I need them. And now, I don't need shim stock that often. Really, like I have yet, I haven't used, I've used it twice since I had that up there. This is such an amazing brush. I don't even remember where I got it. Put that there. Um, yeah, even rubbing alcohol, ISO, ISO, and more ISO. Um, Right, but so who gets to live in here? That's the that's the other big question. Well, we could put some of our lace in here. Red and tacky. That's garbage. I missed. Blades. Blades can go in here. So this is over stuff. We put that there like that. Actually, actually, we'll put that there. Nice. No face. Blades can live there.
I'm really happy. That's a nice little shelf. Can you tell I'm shop proud? I am shop proud. This is freaking awesome. I'm so happy about it. Uh, thanks for joining me. This was two hours flat in and out. I also really like this solution of cutting back the little, the little internal channel for the lights because it lights to the back, but you can't see the lights, so there's no hot spots. I really, really, I really dig that aspect. Um, dude, very happy. Thanks for joining me for this one day build. I'll see you next time.